Maybe for my birthday, I should throw an Everybody Loves Josh birthday party theme. But that would be a lie. Hey, I'm Josh Reimer. And I'm still here. And my birthday is coming up later this month. So it is? <laughs> it is. I'm thinking about what to do for a theme for the party. But I can guarantee you I will not be doing any of these 10 terrible ones that I'm about to show you. The Ghetto Yoga Party. Why ghetto and yoga would go together is beyond me. And personally, I don't think either one really makes for a great choice of a birthday party theme. But these people did, and they sure do look ghetto, don't they? So this one was a Compton cookout theme. The host can be seen here on the Facebook event in blackface and holding a bucket of KFC. Oh no. So yeah, just a tad bit offensive. No. And really not necessary, unless you're inviting the KKK. This was an Asian Prime theme. Uh, nobody at the party was actually Asian, but all the white people dressed and posed and spoke like stereotypes. A whole group of people went along with it and participated. A lot of racist parties. Trump voters, I'm sure. And while we're on the topic of racist party themes, how about these lovely ladies who had a fiesta theme, complete with sombreros, mustaches, and signs that read, we'll mow lawn for weed and beer, and I don't cut grass, I smoke it. Oh, wow. Future mothers of America. Okay, just one more on the racism theme, because they're just too shake your head worthy to pass up. This one was an African themed party. If any theme requires you to dress up or make fun of another culture, don't. Just don't. It's really quite simple. Yeah, for simple logic. So something you could do that isn't potentially racist, but is potentially dangerous, and that everybody could likely get dangerously drunk, is a beer Olympic theme. You just play a variety of beer drinking games until you can't. That looks like fun! A flu party! This one goes beyond just a theme. You actually bring yourself or somebody with something contagious like the swine flu in an attempt to get everybody else infected so they can later be immune to getting it. What? Brilliant. A bad host party is an option where you basically be a bad host on purpose. So you play bad music, you don't offer anybody a drink, uh, you have terrible food. It really, it's just an excuse to be lazy and a bad host. Seems like that would come naturally to you. It does. The blackout or get out party <laughs> requires guests to consume copious amounts of alcohol upon arrival. We're talking like 10 beers or 10 shots. Why somebody would want to host this party is beyond me because the cleanup ain't gonna be pretty. And finally, an ABC party, which stands for anything but clothes. Nice. So you can basically wear anything that isn't considered to be normal clothing. And now that I think about it, depending on who's invited, it might not be such a bad idea for my birthday party after all. Oh, I am so in. Thank you to Francine for inspiring this topic with her comment on last week's top 10 list. And if you have an idea for a topic, let me know in the comments down below. And subscribe if you're new, because I do two sassy scoops every week. Bye. Bye. <laughs>